Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create an animated water tile using pixel art inside of Godot. So the water animation I'm pulling in is from a pack called Starry Night by Quintino. I'll link to that in the description. And so we have four separate water PNG images. And so we need to take these and put them together in an animated texture. So that's different from an animated sprite. It's not a node that you actually include in your scene, but it's actually a resource file. So inside of the project, I'm going to find a location where I want to create that resource file. So here I'm just putting it in background and then water. You can store it wherever you want. I'm going to right click on the folder and then go to new resource. So from here, you're going to want to search for animated texture. So if you just start typing animated, you should get it to appear there. So double click to add it and then we save it with a name. So I'll just call it water.tres and hit save. So if we click on the TRES file and we open it up in the inspector, you'll see a black space by default because we haven't set any images for the frames. And you'll see here it says frames one, but we actually have four water images to create the animation from. So you can expand each of these frames like this and the texture area is gonna be where you set the image, but we need four of them. So I'm gonna change the frames to four. And for FPS, how many frames do you want it to play per second? I'm gonna put that at five, just because that's the speed I want it to play at, but you would be welcome to increase it or decrease it if you'd like. So next we need to drop these water images into the texture space. So water PNG one goes into the first frame and then we open up frame one and put it into the second frame and then so on and so forth. Frame two, water 3.png and frame three is gonna be water 4.png. So you can see it animating up here already, but uh, we want it to actually tile with a tile map. So let's go ahead and add a tile map to our scene. I'm gonna hit the plus button to add a child node and we can search for tile map in here. So search it at the top, find the name tile map and then double click it to create it. So for the tile map to work, we have to create a tile set. So I'm gonna click on the empty tile set and do new tile set. We can click on it once again to open the tile set up. And now in this editor, we can add a texture to this so that we can use it as a tile. So we just need to take the water TRES and drop it in here. And you should see it animating there since we set four frames to it. Okay, so now that we have a tile map here, we are going to need to make sure that the cell size of the tile map actually reflects the size of our water sprites. So if I click on it, I can see pretty easily this is a 16 by 16 tile. It's also listed here in the bottom right corner, so you don't actually have to eyeball it. Um, but that means that our cell size needs to be 16 by 16. So expand cell and the inspector for the tile map and put 16 for X and 16 for Y. Now we need to create a tile set and add the animated resource to that. So I'm gonna click on tile set and do new tile set. I'll click on the new tile set we just created. And now we bring in the TRES resource file. I'm gonna drop it in there. We should see the sprite animating there. And the last thing we need to do is to create an actual tile from this so that we can tile it. So I'm gonna hit new single tile. I'm gonna click on this box area right in there. And you can see it snapped perfectly for me. So now I can tile with it if I click on tile map. You'll see the tile shows up here. It's animated in there and it's animated as well as soon as I start putting it on the grid. So I can just basically go ahead and tile it. And there we have animated water tiling inside of Godot. The one minor thing you'll notice here is that uh, the ground is actually showing above the tile map. So that's just an ordering issue. Pull this new tile map above the ground, uh, not nested, but above the ground. And now we can rename the tile map. So I'll just call this water. And now if we hit play, uh, we can see that water tile texture down there. Now, if your camera is gonna make it so that you can see below this top layer of water, you're probably also gonna wanna add a, just a solid colored water texture below that in the tile map so that you can fill in all of this gray space. But in a nutshell, that's how you can add in water as a animated texture inside of Godot and use it to tile water inside of your game. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my future content.